too late. Three months since the last inhumanoid attack. Are they really gone? Story at 11. Sure was, but not nearly as close as the one you get from Mr. Foam. Ready, camera one? Take it from Dr. Derek Bright of Earth Corps and me, Stella Bright. Mr. Foam gives you the kind of close shave you really want. Out of commercial, take camera one. In case you just tuned in, I'm Tucker Knight, and this is News Night. Tonight, my guests are the three front runners in the race for President of the United States. Congressman Gary Lund, who describes himself as a conservative liberal. George Shrub, who calls himself a liberal conservative. And Senator Wilfred Masterson, who has yet to commit to a platform. <laughs> With all due respect, Mr. Knight, I like to consider myself both a conservative liberal and a liberal conservative. What a jerk! What a hack! Give him the hook! Well, I guess it's unanimous. Both the audience and this reporter are confused as to whether this candidate is wishy-washy or washy-wishy. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You haven't heard the last of me! <laughs> I wasn't listening to the first of you! <laughs> Until this moment, I didn't think it was possible to die laughing. <laughs> oh, wait until you see Liquidator's new science special. They're going to be sorry, very sorry, just like everybody who's ever kicked me around. Excuse me, are you talking to somebody? Uh, no, I, I was just practicing my concession speech. Blackthorn Shore? We were once allies. We can be again. Well, oh, I don't know. I pardon my eavesdropping, but I too would like to help. What do you want? Think of me as your campaign manager. But don't worry, Masterson. It will be an underground campaign, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Now remember, all of you out there in TV land, be careful of caves. One wrong step and, uh, uh, mm, well, you, you know what could happen. I couldn't read the teleprompter. That was wonderful, Liquidator. Excellent, excellent. I think we all deserve a toast, especially Herc, who got his pretty face on the cover of Newspeak. And Sandro, who's been offered a cabinet position. And what about Augur, who hasn't even been asked to be the dog catcher? How come everybody else is famous and respected but me? Point that somewhere else. Either the Redwoods are here, or we've got some serious termite problems. Then Tendril met our and decomposed surfaced in Senator Masterson's house. Isn't his house a little small for three and humanoids? They came up through the floor. Blackthorn Shore was there, too. Oh, uh, that sounds kind of unlikely, Redson. Maybe you just thought you saw it? It's true. Honest, cross my branches. Well, somebody ought to go check it out. I've got an American Excess commercial shooting tomorrow. Really can't. Uh, I've got a meeting. Shucks, we're taping another special. Well, I don't have nothing. Let's go, Redson. How do you respond to accusations that you are a wimp? 
How nasty! I am indignant! Who would say a thing like that about me? <laughs> Listen, Eric. Something has ripped up the floor at Masterson's house, and it wasn't a vacuum cleaner. Look, I'm awful busy. Cold bright, huh? Uh, gotta go. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm sorry, Auger. Derek's shooting the Australia promo. <laughs> What the? It's as though some giant hand has grabbed us. Hi, I'm Gary Lung. I want to be your president. Ten years ago, this was a toxic waste dump. Now, it's as clean as Mother Nature herself. Cut, cut, cut. Gary, <laughs> Gary, Gary, you couldn't look better. Magnificent. Now, I want you to try it another way. Hi, I'm Gary Lung, and... <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you will submit your resignation. Or... Hi, this is John Slattery, otherwise known as Liquidator. Be sure to watch my show on Sunday and at the beep, leave a message with your name and number. Yeah, it seems you're all too busy to fight the Inhumanoids, so I'm gonna do it myself. If I fail, take a bath in mustard. You might taste better to them that way. You're replacing 20 questions with this junk? Listen, I can do junk as well as the next guy. Give me another shot. I'll change my philosophy. I don't care if you change your underwear. Your history, Ramirez. You were competing with the test pattern and losing. Watch night. You might learn something. Senator Masterson, why have all the candidates dropped out of the race to be president? <clears throat> well, it might be that they saw the futility of their campaign. I don't buy it. What can I say? Apparently, you're the winner. No one's left to run against you. Uh, first, let me say this about that. As president... Not yet, Masterson. My name's Auger from Earth Corps. I fight in humanoids, and I think I'd be a better president than that jerk. <laughs> and, Mr. Auger, would you like to tell us what your qualifications are? I used to be a boxer. Now I'm a member of the Earth Corps. Well, yes, but you may recall, it was my expedition that liberated the Statue of Liberty. How come? <laughs> revenge upon you for all the inhumanoids you destroyed. Hey, what about me? You and your Earth Corps are of no concern to the inhumanoids. We fear only Master Son. This is the biggest load of who we have ever heard. Release me immediately, decompose, or my team of explorers will track you down again. No! Anything but that! Please! No! Now, voters, I must ask you, which candidate is better equipped to lead you in times of trouble? Masterson! Yeah, bums! The reason for Masterson's strong showing in the polls is clear. The voters want a president who has proven he can deal with the terror from within. A president who can defeat the Inhumanoids. Why would the Inhumanoids want Masterson to win the election? I don't know, but they do. I guess Earth Corps just went into the politics business. And Augers are man. Well, Hector, in just a few hours, polls all over the country will open, and by the end of the day, we'll have a new president. The polls show the race a dead heat. Who do you think is going to win? I don't think there's any question, Tucker, that Senator Masterson will be the next president of the United States. <gasps> right on the nose! <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. He's always throwing shoes through the TV, especially when Hector Ramirez is on. Yeah, but I 
I feel a little funny doing it now that the shoes cost more than the TV. Don't worry about it, Auger. We keep a few spares for just such emergencies. <laughs> are just coming in now and this is going to be a tight race perhaps the closest race ever well hector it's all but official now edward auditor will be the next president of the united states and congressman gary lung will be the vice president all i can say is i'm glad i punched that bozo's lights out he was a loser from square one most bizarre night in American politics. Uh, are we on? Is this thing working? The president-elect of the United States has been kidnapped by the Inhumanoids. What does this green tentacled monster want? What do all of the Inhumanoids want? What does anybody want? I will tell you what I want. I want your world. The time has come for the final battle. Come, Earthcore, rescue your friend. Come, flesh slugs, try to get your president back. Come, mutors, try to vanquish my legions. Come, all of you. But come soon, for if you are slow, I shall incinerate your leader in the fiery depths of the primal core. important battle in human history. If we win, the Earth may be safe for a thousand years, but if we lose, we lose the world itself. All good life will be destroyed. Meanwhile, in Skullweb... yourself fortunate that you will not live long enough to watch the destruction of your friend. Yeah, neither will you, barbecue breast. Dear friends, there's no doubt about the unity and courage of Earth Corp. Within minutes of President Augur's kidnapping, they descended into the combat zone. Not without me. This should get me out of here. Saber jet ignite! Erg Armstrong to Delta Force. Prepare to fire flares. I read you, Herc. This is too easy. 
I'm afraid you're right. Look, decomposes death bats. <laughs>
Uncle Blackthorn managed to free the monsters, and we headed down here. So the Inhumanoids are on the loose again? Listen, we saved your life. Yeah, you might show a little gratitude. That's right, just because you're president. President? I don't have time to be president. Not as long as the Inhumanoids are still on the loose. Vice President Lung will make a better president than me anyway. <laughs> a chimp would make a better president than you. Don't start. Who wants to be president anyway? My life's down here. So's mine. Yeah, I never liked those commercials anyway. And I was always such a klutz in front of a camera. Like it or not, we're a team. And no one breaks up a winning team. <laughs>